Good evening, everybody. I'd like to call our board meeting to order. Uh, today is Tuesday, November 25th, 2014. It's 7 o'clock. We have a board meeting followed by a committee of the whole meeting. Our first item is the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Sherby, please call the roll. Present. 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 We do have a quorum this evening. Any presentations today? Do we have something? One on the cow. On the cow. I'm for nothing for the board. No. Okay. Uh, public comments or questions to give as many visitors as possible an opportunity to speak in the interest of adjourning by nine. Please limit your comments to three minutes in length unless further time is granted by the board on active or general matters. Anyone? Anyone? Going once, twice. Three times, okay. I don't think we have a public hearing, is that correct? No, we do not. Okay, item number seven, consent agenda. Uh, let's see, we have item A, approval of the record of bills ending 11-2014 and the amount not to exceed $999,490.88. Uh, approval of the minutes of the board of the November 11th, committee of November 11th, exec of November 11th. Ordinance amending Chapter 5.36 entitled liquor, liquor Sale of Title V entitled Business Licenses and Regulations of the Westchester Municipal Code. A resolution determining the estimated property tax to be levied for 2014 tax year in the village. Resolution adopting the Watershed Management Ordinance Resolution. Resolution authorizing the execution of an intergovernmental agreement with the MWRD of uh, Greater Chicago for authorization to administer the watershed plan. Resolution authorizing the execution of agreement by and between the Village of Westchester and Paramedic Billing Services, Incorporated, and a resolution regarding a periodic review of closed meeting minutes of the Village of Westchester. Those are items A through H. I don't think any of them have any dollar amount other than the first one. Do we, Mike, or is there another one? Uh, out there? A couple of items to comment on. Uh, item C, uh, that increases the number of D1 liquor licenses from three to four. Item D, the uh, estimated property taxes will, is in the amount of $7,617,379. And if you'll recall, we um, uh, had a report from uh, Maureen at the last meeting, uh, but since we now have 21 days to our next meeting when we can uh, vote on our tax levy ordinance, we decided to put a written resolution on so that you have something uh, on paper, and so okay. that's why that's back on the agenda tonight. Um, it doesn't change the dollar amount from what was declared at the last meeting. And item G, the resolution with uh, Paramedic Billing Services, Inc., uh, that agreement calls for fees that are calculated at 5% of the amount of uh, ambulance fees that are collected. That should be sufficient uh, to comply with the Open Meetings Act. Okay, you've heard item A through H in the supplementary data. Is there a motion to second or approval? So moved. Anybody want second. something pulled? No. Nick and Tom? Nothing to be pulled, anybody? Any other discussion? If not, sure be the roll. Aye. 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 All right, motion carries. I don't see anything on the active agenda. Janet, do you have anything? <clears throat> just a couple brief things this evening. Um, just wanted to wish everybody a very happy Thanksgiving. Um, in light of the Thanksgiving holiday, Village Hall admin offices and public works will be closed on uh, Thursday, Thanksgiving Day, and the Friday after Thanksgiving. We will resume regular business at 8.30 a.m. on Monday, December 1st. Um, also, just wanted uh, to tell everybody to save the date for next Wednesday and Thursday for the village tree lighting um, at the 
Park District Community Center and um, third and fourth. That would be December third and fourth at six PM I believe they're they're starting. Um, and that is all I have this evening. Great. Michael, anything? Nothing for open session, thank you. Okay. Board members. Nikki, anything? Um there is a police and fire commission meeting coming up um, <coughs> on the 1st of December. Uh, they, I think they are finally done now with the uh, interviews they had. Quite a few candidates to go through, 93 candidates for the um, <coughs> police eligibility list. Uh, and then after that, hopefully uh, things will be quiet for a while. We got um, There should be no more uh, testing done in the upcoming year uh, for promotions or for um, initial hires so things uh, should be quieting down um, just want to comment on the uh, National League of Cities <clears throat> we were out there uh, this past week um, the prescription program through National League of Cities um, 589 residents uh, have taken advantage of that and have filled um, 1,122 prescriptions and have saved over twelve thousand mm -hmm. dollars so um, it's a very good program. It was nice to see that, uh, that this many residents were uh, using this as a supplement to their uh, already their prescription um, payments. Uh, additionally, I got some information that may help us with uh, code enforcement that I'll, um, I'll forward to Melissa. It was, it's a uh, company that uh, essentially they, they track down whoever owns these proper, vacant properties. They'll find the banks, they'll find um, whoever is going to be the person the point of contact uh, it's a free service for communities and there's a number of communities in the area that are already using them such as uh, Elmwood Park and Maywood so I'll forward that information to Melissa as well good Celeste anything I do not have anything this evening thank you Polly mm -hmm. nothing right now Ange no nothing tonight Tomas um, well we're still doing the food drive in toys for tots at um, the park district here at the village hall so um, please donate and then I was with Nick as well at the National League of Cities and um, I had a meeting with um, the let's move program for um, Michelle Obama and I learned some new I was able to collaborate with other towns and learn some new ideas for our next event for in June great thank you and uh, Paul you want to talk about Chaco Oh, that's right. I forgot about Chaco. Yeah, we uh, Chaco. <laughs> uh, we had the privilege of uh, running down and picking up 15 boxes of uh, turkey dinners. Huh. Myself, uh, uh, Mayor Sam, and Angelo, and Tony Saviano. We ran down to Bona Beef in uh, Berwyn, and uh, from the Italian American Club, they were uh, nice enough to, to uh, donate 15 baskets to uh, people in town that were very needy and needed them. We went out, we picked them all up, we had a great little breakfast, and we delivered it for everyone in town. So it was a great event, thanks to Sam and everybody to getting it all put together. So uh, uh, we had a good time. How about it, Angela? Yeah. We get a little exercise running up and down the stairs <laughs> and everything, so thank you. Yeah, the group did uh, 600 <laughs> baskets and they got included a Remember they got the 100 turkey? donated from Mariano's. For Mariano, so I was going to so say they got 100 turkeys donated. 70,000 pounds worth of food. They, yeah. they give away, yeah. Holy cow. Yeah, they were doing 500 Holy last year. This year they got another 100 from uh, Mr. Mariano and Mariano's uh, grocery stores. And so we were able to do 600 uh, dinners. So very, very nice event. And, uh, very well received by a lot of people. And uh, made a lot of people's uh, thanks. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I have nothing. Um, Executive session, do we have something for this evening? Oh, yes, we do. We do. So we're going to do that after the after the mm. cow. Um, both these right. issues or just one? Uh, I believe just uh, item A. Item A. Uh, Not item B? No. Department head report? Yeah. Well, I'm going to do that. So uh, I know John's probably at the swearing in of uh, Chief Romp in LaGrange Park. Yes, he said he would be late this evening. Uh, and that's where he is, yeah. I'm sure. Uh, Jimmy. Uh, 
I just have two things. Um, Michael Mal, unfortunately, Michael Malpierre's uh, former chief of the fire department, uh, his wife had passed away. I believe she was like 95. Um, he sent a very nice thank you card. Um, for for all of our help, we've given Gladys, and um, he was uh, very proud to have a fire truck escort his wife to the cemetery. And then today, uh, actually, uh, Mario Toronto actually came by and um, dropped off a real nice thank you note for uh, um, for uh, my participation in the uh, Toronto fire the other day um, and uh, taking over one of the sectors and running it. Um, that's all I have. Thank you. Maureen? Um, tomorrow, uh, the finance department will be sending out letters to any businesses that are delinquent in any type of monies that they owe the village. Um, and also the business renewal license forms will be going out in the mail as well. Um, I just wanted to remind all businesses that we will not be renewing any licenses if there are any monies owed to the village. And that's all I have for tonight. Thank you. Gregory. Yes, just one brief little comment on uh, something I've talked about before, about putting together our mobile app that would uh, coincide with our website. Um, one of the reasons that we've taken a little bit more time than normal on an issue like this uh, is that they have changed the way they were doing things. I think I might have mentioned that before, how they were doing just links within their uh, mobile app. I just want to give you a, a brief uh, viewpoint as to what it may look like, although this is uh, on an iPad, it'll look very similar on an iPhone, um, but no longer is it just a link to a, a page on a website. Uh, this is Dublin, California. Uh, but to give you an idea as to what it'll do now, and I must say that the amount of information that's there is very concise, very easy to find, uh, especially if you really need to find something in a pinch. Um, you know, as, ex as an example here, uh, there's the resource directory, which would allow uh, a user to, uh, here, I could uh, choose that I need to, to look up our local utilities and just in, in two clicks, get in here and, and find out who, who I need to be calling for a specific utility. Um, it tells you where they're located if you place that information in there. Um, the calendar is very straightforward here and if you want to find out what's going on at a particular time and date, the information relevant to that date shows you that the Planning Commission had a meeting today there in California for the next day. Next day it tells you the Youth Advisory Committee has a meeting, so anything yellow showing that uh, there's an activity that date. Um, and we'll be doing something very similar, working with them to, to put all this together for us, frequently asked questions. Again, our website is very informative, but uh, you know, over time, the amount of things that get placed up there and trying to, to get exactly to what you're looking for, not sure what you, you need, you're looking for police services. Uh, a long list of questions is being put together by myself at this point, and I'll be speaking with department heads as to what other questions you think would be great to, to put in there as a frequently asked question. Uh, uh, But in the, in the coming, coming weeks or so, should be uh, putting that all together. And um, again, it's going to, I might have mentioned this before, it's going to look like our website. It'll have information uh, uh, relevant uh, to our town. And uh, we'll, of course, be promoting it in our newsletter, on our webpage, trying to get people to get our app, um, again, as a, as a resource of information as to what's going on in town, how to get information about uh, various services in town. Um, without having to go through the lengthy process of trying to search for something on the, the Internet. And, of course, if anyone has any questions as this is going along or wants something added or thinks, you know, they've got an idea that uh, could assist in this, I'm always ears. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody have a question for Greg? Okay. Jessica, anything? Yeah. Melissa? Good evening. Just a couple things. Um, wanted to let you know that... Um, we submitted applications, or me and uh, Western Remax submitted applications <coughs> for the wayfinding signs for the four locations, and we did receive <coughs> comments back, so uh, we went out to all the sites today so we can revise the applications. Hopefully they'll be approved with the next 
with the revisions that we're going to make and hopefully they'll be up before the end of the year as long as the weather continues to cooperate. Um, also, I went to uh, the Illinois Department of Public Health. They had a training session today on the changes to the Illinois Plumbing Code. The state adopted um, a new plumbing code and uh, I think they have four sections that relate to plumbing and professional regulation of plumbers. So they um, made modifications to those sections of the code. So they had an open house meeting today to go over those changes. Um, so I attended that today. And um, Jewel had their grand reopening, for those that don't know, last week on Wednesday. So that was really it. <coughs> Thank you. Sherby, anything? Huh? Like I said, I don't have anything for this evening. Um, we do have an executive session under 5LX122C1. Discuss appointment, employment, compensation, discipline, performance, or dismissal of specific employees of the public body. We'll be handling that uh, after the committee of the whole meeting. If there's no other business before this board as far as the board meeting is concerned. Is there a motion to second to adjourn the board so meeting? Motion. Ange and Celeste. Tom and Celeste. Tom. Tom. Oh, Tom, I'm sorry. Angelo and Thomas, all those in favor of adjourning the meeting, uh, the board meeting say aye. 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 Any aye. opposition say no. We stand adjourned.